the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. I really gotta use the bathroom, so I'll keep this quick. <laughs> For those of you who don't know me, I'm um, the groom's younger, favorite brother, Aiden. Actually, I'm his only brother, so there wasn't really much competition for uh, best man today. Uh, but I would like to say, being chosen for Jamie's best man is truly honorable. And it's even more honorable of him to finally admit that I truly am the best man. <laughs> so today is obviously a really big day for me, being the best man and all. And it's lovely to see that you've all made such a good effort <laughs> to look your best for this. My special <laughs> Especially Jamie and Susie! <laughs> you know, you don't have to go through all this trouble just to look like this. For me. Thank you, Susie. <laughs> but seriously, you all look wonderful today. And Susie, you look absolutely beautiful. My brother is a very lucky guy because he's punching well above his weight. <laughs> Are you going to write? Fair enough. <laughs> I know. <don't. laughs> But I do have to say, you're the most stunning bride I've ever seen. And your dress, I'm sure everyone will agree, is stupendous. <laughs> Spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> no, and the surroundings we're here in today just enhance your beauty like a true English rose. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> and Jamie. Yeah. Didn't even bother to share. <laughs> we have a fabulous congregation of people here today. Friends and family who have flown from far and wide. We have people here from Spain, Sweden, Holland, and even as far as America. Honestly, it's incredible how far people will come for a free meal. <laughs> <laughs> so, what can I tell you about my big brother? I can't really just stand here and roast him. So, let me tell you about some of his wonderful qualities. Um, one second. <laughs> 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 I like you from the first time I've ever met you because you always laughed at my jokes while Jamie just shook his head and called me an idiot. <laughs> and you always got me those 50 euro um, iTunes vouchers for my birthday and for Christmas. But no, really, I've always looked up to you. You're like a big sister to me, and I'm really glad I can call you a sister from here on out. Oh. 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 Okay. When Jamie first told us he'd met his future wife, I was only eight years old, and I didn't really take it too seriously. Well, to be honest, I still don't, but I have to say, you make my brother happy in a way that I never could. In fact, when my parents told Jamie, well, my parents told Jamie that he was going to have a brother, he refused to speak to them for days. And then when he found out that they were going to call him Aiden, he screamed at them, If you call him Aiden, I'll never speak to him. I can't tell you how many times I wish he kept that promise. <laughs> <laughs> but once I was born, he couldn't help but warm up to me. It took him a while. I, I think I'm still growing on him. <laughs> I mean, he did ask me to be his best man and all. Yeah. Yeah. But he only ever had one girlfriend that I remember. But that was B.S. That means before Susie, not, not the obvious. <laughs> Sorry. He was never without his arms around her curves. What? She was his soulmate and his one true love. And she was, of course, his Gibson guitar. <laughs> <laughs> On a serious note, though, I have to say that he was a pretty cool big brother. 
He played in a band, he taught himself to play guitar, piano, bass, and the drums. There wasn't really much he couldn't achieve uh, musically. Technically, as well. If he put his mind to it. <laughs> there was always a tune floating up from the basement, and he did write some pretty good tracks every now and again. He even had me do some backing vocals when I was around six for some tracks. Hang on, did you ever pay me for those? <laughs> He was always, always the musical, creative one, while well, I was, and still am, the good-looking one. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the age difference between us meant that we didn't argue like most siblings. And I got to inherit his Beyblade collection and Pokemon cards when they came back into fashion the second time. <laughs> so there were some perks for the age gap. He also protected me a lot, you know, from getting upset about things, etc. And being small, I used to believe everything he said. Like, when my two goldfish, Bobo and Squeak, just disappeared one morning, he told me a wonderful story how they took a trip down the Porcelain Express. <laughs> it sounded like a fairy tale at the age of six. And I only realized a week during writing the speech that the Porcelain Express actually meant the toilet. <laughs> May they rest in peace. <laughs> I've always looked up to my big brother, and still do, not just in the physical sense of the word, but I know he's never going to let me live this one down, but he is my hero. Aww. Aww. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I aspire to be like you, Jamie. You're smart, you're loyal, you're compassionate to others, and you're the kind of man I hope to one day be. Aww. I guess that means when I grow up, I just want to be like my big brother. <laughs> When I was a kid, you were always there to look out for me, making sure I didn't fall over in the playground or put things in my mouth that I shouldn't. <laughs> You've always guided me and advised me on stuff that you already experienced, and are still there whenever I need you. And I know that you're always in my corner, and that gives me a great feeling of love and security. So thanks for that. When Susie started coming over with you during the holidays, you always wanted to take me out with you, even when the romance was still fresh. You never shut me out, and you always included me. <laughs> you even had me open a stay at yours a few times in London. I had to sleep on the sofa though. I'm still seeing the chiropractor for that. <laughs> <laughs> Two years ago, I even got to experience my very first music festival, thanks to you, and Susie, of course. Honestly, I couldn't ask for a better brother than you. I only wish that we got to spend more time together. Because you're one of the most genuine, modest, and kind-hearted people I know. You're also a pain in the butt, so... <laughs> but, thank you for the last 15 years. Even if I don't show it all the time, I always love you, no matter what. Well, I bet you weren't expecting that much brotherly love, were you? <laughs> you were frightened to death wondering what his 15-year-old kid brother was going to come out today with. <laughs> Tell me that, believe me. We made some awesome memories together. We still have a whole lifetime ahead of us to make some more. Some of my favorites are our roller coaster rides. We always did a crazy pose for the camera just to freak out the staff at the photo booth. <laughs> like the one where you were strangling me with that psycho face. <laughs> We've had a lot more, but Mum refused to pay the 15 euros for every picture on every roller coaster we went on. <laughs> Talking about roller coaster though, I can't believe it was actually Mum that had to accompany me on the Shambhala because you were too much of a wuss. Well, I was only 12. For those of you who don't know what the Shambhala is, it's the tallest roller coaster in Europe. Oh, and before I get, I have a little gift for you that I put together for you both. It kind of sums up the story that you heard earlier during the ceremony that was wonderfully delivered by our mum. So, I give you a roll, please. Walk over. Roll. What's happening? What's happening, you guys? Remember this? You seen this? Hopefully, it doesn't fall off. Go. Oh. 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 Three, two, one. Oh. Bang!
story of Jamie and Susie so far, not in words, but in pictures. This took me almost a month to draw, so I expect to see it hanging in prime position in your household for the next 70 years. I've also made small ones, copies, for all of you lovely people to take home as a memory of a moment of this beautiful day. I also have a story of Jamie and Susie in words written by Mum on the back. Now, it was meant to have glass on it, like a proper picture, but sadly on the way here it cracked and we had to take it out. <laughs> but we will send you a canvas version when we get home, so don't worry about that. Now, let me get back to the table. Excuse me. So, if I can ask you all to raise a glass to my beautiful big sister, and my dashing big brother. I want to like uh, some wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I'll try that later. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, to the bride and groom, Jamie and Susie, may you live happily ever after. Yeah. I, love yeah. Woo! Yeah. I love you both. Don't make me say that. <laughs> <laughs>